Jenny, clean your closet. Jenny, help your sister. Jenny, clean your room. Jenny, get off the phone and read a book. This is what you'll hear when you come to my house. Master of Ceremony, fellow Toastmasters and guests, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. <laughs> my name is Jennifer. When I was just two and a half years old, I have come to this island of pearls from this city of pearls. Hyderabad is known as the city of pearls because of their pearl trade throughout history. Hyderabad is also the capital city of the Telangana state of India. And most of you might be knowing Chaminar, the famous monument, was built in Hyderabad more than 400 years ago in the year 1591 CE, to be precise. It was just when Queen Elizabeth I was ruling the British Empire, when the Ming Dynasty was flourishing in China, and just a few decades after Columbus discovered America. And in that historical city, I was born on 5th September. 5th September is also known as Teacher's Day in India in memory of the famous teacher and the former president, Sarvapalli Radhakrishna. He was born on my birthday. <laughs> well, technically, I was born on his birthday. <laughs> so during that time, my mother was a school teacher and my father was a university lecturer. So you all can rightly say that I was born to two teachers on Teacher's Day. Being the first granddaughter in my family, I was loved, cared, adored, and pampered so much until my sister arrives five years later, taking away half the love and care I used to enjoy. So growing up in this beautiful island nation, I studied and graduated from the Indian School Bahari. During my schooling days, I began to participate in sports such as basketball and badminton, and also participated in some extracurricular activities. Which was when I realized I had an interest in dancing. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, dancing became a hobby. I started to participate in a couple of dance competitions, and fortunately managed to win a few prizes as well. But much to the dislike of my father, he preferred me to take part in elocution events instead. Mostly because he's a toastmaster himself. <laughs> but then my old man had to wait. Then college came. But unlike the most of you present here, I didn't have the privilege of studying in UOB. <laughs> my, parents, my parents didn't want me to forget my roots, so I went to India and studied my undergrad in commerce back in Bangalore. College was fun. I continued to dance and also had the privilege of emceeing an event or two. But gosh, I really did miss the shower months of the So I graduated college this year in May 2017. I'm currently back in the island and I'm pursuing my SEMA, which is a professional certification in management accounting. But coming back to the island, I feel to realize that my father would want me to join Toastmasters. Now, don't get me wrong, I do have some experience in public speaking, but just the thought of standing in front of an audience who are good public speakers, still terrifies me a little. So I try my level best to dodge the question whenever my father asks me, when will he join Toastmasters Beta? But then ladies and gentlemen, don't ask me how I got here standing in front of you all giving my first icebreaker speech. With that, over to you. 